Wow, and Billy Ray Cyrus is hosting? Surely everybody in America is watching this. How awesome. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> Today's lesson in the 30 day challenge is all about how to pimp up your flock browser. Yes, we're gonna add a bunch of little programs called extensions or add-ons. And these are gonna extend the functionality make your browser better. And in particular, the things that we're gonna be adding today are going to help you in your internet marketing efforts. Now, feel free to go and have a look at all the other add-ons and extensions. There are heaps of them. We showed you PicLens in a previous video. How cool is that? Not necessarily a great marketing thing, but a very cool browsing experience. So these ones that we're gonna look at today are going to be ones that we are going to be using throughout the 30 day challenge. And today I'm not going to be explaining them to you uh, and showing you how to use them. I just want you to get them all set up and then at the appropriate time we'll go into a lot of detail about how to use them. So don't panic, we'll do it all. Now, the other thing I should mention is there, for the first time, there is an accompanying PDF report. In other words, it's a little downloadable document that you'll be able to get on the 30daychallenge.com preseason site where you'll be able to not only uh, get this presentation that you're going to be watching right now, you will also be able uh, to download that document and all it's all clickable. So rather than you having to type anything in, you just go to the page for the extension that you want, click on the link and I'll show you where, and bam, you'll be able to go straight to the page and go through that extension install process which I showed you in the previous video. Okay, so with that, let's get cracking and show you how to pimp flock for fun and profit. Nashville star, how awesome. Ah, anyway, I digress. The first extension that I want you to have a look at, and this one is a cool one, is one called Google Global. And again, you can see where I've got Google Global, how that's underlined. If you click on that in the PDF report, the downloadable PDF report, which is available on the 30daychallenge.com site, you can see the URL right there, you'll actually get taken straight to the site where you can download this. It's called Google Global and it's an amazing extension. It allows you basically to look at search results from anywhere else in the world. So I don't know, like there are a lot of you who are doing this challenge outside of the United States. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but what I see here in Australia for my Google results is completely different to how somebody sees Google results in the United States. And this is a big issue, particularly if your primary market is in the United States, which for most products it is. So this allows you to have a look at what your search results will be like if you're in the United States, but it's much cooler than that. Because, again, I'm not sure if you knew this, but a person who's living in Atlanta, Georgia, gets a completely different set of results to somebody who is living in Los Angeles. Indeed, somebody who's living in Macon, Georgia, gets a completely different experience to somebody who's living in Bakersfield. In California. Now, how come? Because Google optimizes results for local entities because it knows that most of the time you'll be interested in the local result before you're interested in a national result. Makes absolute sense. And I might say something we're going to take big advantage of in the 30 day challenge. So, what this extension allows you to do is actually allows you to see different results and pretend you're in different cities which is just brilliant and it's great for testing and so on. It's one that we're going to use a lot of, so make sure you install Google Global. Our next one is Google Notebook. Now, we use Google Notebook extension. This is really cool and a lot of people really love that. I've got to say, it's when you see how we're gonna tie Google Notebook up this year, it's 10 times better this year than it was last year. But Google Notebook allows you to make notes as you're surfing along without getting out of the browser. It's really cool for research and if you see something that's cool and interesting in your niche and you don't have time to do anything with now, just highlight it on the browser, right click and boom, you'll be able to add that to your Google Notebook and it stays there and it's kept there permanently. In fact, I opened up my Google Notebook 
uh, as I was preparing this video and all of my notes from last year's challenge were still there just waiting for me. So it's a brilliant little extension and one that I know a lot of people last year got a lot of use out of. So make sure you load up with Google Notebook. Now again you'll need a Google account to do this. I'm actually going to show you in a later video how to get all the Google services because they're going to play a very very important part this year. The changes between last year's challenge and this year's challenge in terms of Google are immense and you're going to reap the benefits of that. So if you want to rush ahead, go and grab a Google account now and get yourself a Gmail account. Uh, otherwise wait and I'll show you exactly how to do it as well. But make sure you go click on the Google Notebook link and get that extension installed into Flock. Our next one is called, well it's actually called SEO for Firefox but it actually works just fine in Flock as well. Now, SEO for Firefox, first of all, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. If you visualize Google for a second, you know on the right-hand side, there are all of the ads in Google, and here on the left-hand side, there are what we call the natural search results. These are the search results that Google determines are most appropriate for whatever term you happen to be typing in. Now with that, you need to, um, part of what we did last year was work out a strategy for getting in those natural search results. And this tool here allows you to get a whole bunch of interesting data which will show you how to do that. Now again, I just want you to install at the moment, we'll go into lots of detail during the challenge about how to use it. One word of warning with this uh, little uh, extension too. What it does with a lot of links, if you when you first install it, it'll turn your links red. Okay, it'll turn your links red. Um, so anywhere where there's a link, it'll probably be red. Now the reason it does this is it shows something called a nofollow tag. Don't even worry about that at the moment. I just want to tell you how to turn that off just in case it comes up and you're worried that there's all these red lines everywhere. All you have to do, see that logo there, the SEO for Firefox? You'll notice that once you've installed it, it's down in the bottom of your menu bar inside of Flock. All you have to do is click on it and it turns off and the next time you do a search, there'll be no red lines. So that's all you have to do. Just, I just wanted to warn you about it and not panic and showed you some pictures there as well. So SEO for Firefox is fantastic. Now, another tool, and a lot of people uh, were concerned that there was no um, Alexa rankings, and again, that's a ranking service which veteran marketers know about it. I'm not sure about the whole relevance of Alexa per se anymore, but that's for another time. This browser does show you the page rank and the Alexa rating for the page that you're looking at. And the page rank in particular is very, very useful for us to know. And this gives you an instant snapshot of any page that you are looking at. Very cool, it's a tiny little bar that appears in the bottom of your browser. Again, if that sounds like gobbledygook, don't worry, just put this aside and remember, oh yeah, I remember where he showed us how to get access to that, and you can access it later. So don't worry about it, don't freak out. It's just, we're just adding these things in which will help us during the entire 30 day challenge. The next one, and this is something that we will be using very, very shortly because I want to teach you how to use it because apart from anything else, it's cool. It's A, cool, B, helps you immensely in your internet marketing efforts. It's called StumbleUpon. It's a fantastic service. I'm not going to go into it here because I want to show you how to sign up and use it in a very in a video to come up very shortly. Um, but StumbleUpon is a fantastic way to let people on the internet know about great sites. And it has some incredible intelligence in it. Uh, which allows you to literally stumble upon and find great sites that you may never have come across. It's a brilliant service, extremely addictive. You have to watch out. But we'll be using it a lot and the stumble upon toolbar is going to be very important as we go forward. It's one thing if you're listening Flock folk, integrating stumble upon into Flock would be a good idea in my humble opinion. And while we're at it, friend feed, but I'll come back to you on that. Stumble upon is an important toolbar and please make sure it's uh, sure it's in and installed. This is one you need and we will need very, very shortly. So make sure you check that out. <coughs> Pardon me. 
Now, this next one is called Twitter Bar. Now, I hear you say, hang on, Ed. Uh, can't we post to Twitter through our Flock browser? Yes, absolutely. It's got Twitter services built right in. There's a tiny problem with it. Well, actually, there's two tiny problems with it. The first problem with Twitter implementation inside of Flock is that it's a two-click process. In other words, you have to click to share the link and then it takes you away from the page that you were surfing on and you have to fill in your Twitter page, which is a real problem because it interrupts your flow of, of browsing. The reason Twitter bar is so successful is just by adding a little comment beside the URL up in the actual address bar and clicking that little green button, boom. It's done, it's posted to Twitter, and you've never left your page. And that's very important. So again, if you're listening, Flock folk, this is an important uh, element and why I think you need to have a look at your Twitter implementation. The second thing is that when you're posting a link, obviously sometimes you see addresses, you know, web addresses are super long. They use up all your space in your Twitter comments, so you can't make a relevant comment. Unfortunately, the Twitter service inside of Flock doesn't use a shortening service. It doesn't, you know, those funny URLs that you see like uh, snip.earl or little uh, twirl or there's a bunch of different, they shorten, basically what they do is they take this big long address and give it a code and makes it a lot shorter. This is a big deal uh, as well because it gives you time, it gives you space to write a decent comment and doesn't take up this horrifically long URL address. Uh, in your Twitter posts. And let me tell you folks, Twitter is vital. It's going to be supremely important in this challenge. So um, that's why we use Twitter bar because it shortens the URL automatically and it allows you to comment without doing the actual uh, getting away from the page, which is really, really important as my children go nuts. Awesome. Finally, a very crucial toolbar is the 30 day challenge toolbar. This toolbar is um, very useful indeed and we're gonna show you in a video just on this, but it's a great super fast way of getting access uh, to all the links, all the services that we show, all the uh, various tools that we use, everything. So instead of having to flit around everywhere, you can click and check. It also has a search service which is groomed into the forum, which is really fantastic. It's a brilliant little toolbar, um, and it's something that is is great. Now, I, I do want to put one caveat behind here. Apparently, we make like a dollar sixty-five a day from the use of this toolbar because apparently we get a tiny percentage of if you use it for a, um, a, a search. Uh, I don't happen to use it like a search myself, but I just wanted to be absolutely. Uh, up front with you that we do make a tiny little bit amount like about a dollar sixty five a day at last check so if that offends you feel free not to install it but I think the utility of it with being able to get through all of the uh, find all of the content find all of the links find all of that stuff I think you'll find it's a brilliant brilliant tool so and we'll show you a video and show you exactly how that works I better end up because I'm about to be swamped by children. Uh, enjoy this, get ready to pimp up your browser and we will get cracking. Okay, speak to you soon.